Hello guys, welcome to our channel. Today, we have the Yamaha FCS25. As you can see, its front suspension is leaky. So, we are going to show you a step-by-step -step guide on how to install the front fork assembly. But before we begin, let's take a moment to understand how a front suspension works and familiarize ourselves with the components used in it. A telescopic fork is a common type of front suspension system used in motorcycles. It consists of two main components, the fork tubes and the sliders. Here's how a telescopic fork works. When a bump or irregularity is encountered on the road, the front wheel moves upward, compressing the suspension. As the wheel moves up, the fork tubes slide into the sliders. Inside the fork tubes, there are springs that provide the primary suspension. These springs are typically made of steel and are designed to compress and absorb the energy from the impact. The compression of the springs helps soften the impact and prevent it from being transferred directly to the rider. In addition to the springs, there are damping mechanisms in the fork tubes. These damping systems use hydraulic or pneumatic mechanisms to control the movement of the suspension. They typically consist of oil and valving systems. When the suspension compresses, the oil flows through small channels or valves, providing resistance and slowing down the movement of the fork. This helps dampen the oscillations caused by the springs and provides better control over the suspension movement. After the suspension compresses, it rebounds back to its original position. The damping system also helps control the speed at which the suspension rebounds, preventing it from bouncing back too quickly. This helps maintain stability and control over the motorcycle. The telescopic design allows the fork tubes to slide into the sliders, which helps in absorbing the impact and maintaining the structural integrity of the front end. It also allows the suspension to provide both suspension and steering functions. As the front wheel moves up and down, the entire fork assembly pivots around the steering head, enabling the motorcycle to turn and maneuver. To assemble the suspension, you will need a T-handle. First, take the cylinder and insert the small spring. Next, take the inner tube and insert it inside the T-handle, followed by the spindle taper on top of the cylinder. Then, take the outer tube and insert the bolt hexagon socket head, as shown in the video. Use an Allen key to tighten the outer base tube. You may need a T-spinner and a helper to complete this process, so make sure you have someone to support you. <laughs> Once the suspension base is assembled, insert the metal slide, followed by a washer. Tap it with an oil seal driver and ensure it is set perfectly. Install a new oil seal by tapping it with the oil seal driver, taking care not to damage the newly installed oil seal. To prevent any damage, place an old oil seal on top of the new one so that the oil seal driver does not come into direct contact with the new seal. Then install the lock, it's also called ring snap. You just need to push it and it will be installed. Cover it with a seal dust. Now, we are close to completing the installation process of the front fork assembly. Insert the main spring inside the inner tube and add the recommended volume of fork oil. In this case, we are using 469 milliliters of fork oil. Pump it to ensure all the oil goes to the bottom. Insert the washer and collar and cover them with a gasket and bolt cap. After completing the entire process, check the suspension's flexibility simply by pressing it. Now your suspension is ready, and you can install it under the bracket. 
Thank you for watching and being a part of our YouTube channel. We hope you enjoyed the content and found it informative. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications, so you never miss an update from us. We appreciate your support and look forward to bringing you more exciting videos in the future. Stay tuned and keep exploring.